So in the last video, uh, we talked about how we can use the science and how the science can help us progress ourselves faster um, into the the so-called uh, game and make sure we, we we're, we're better than a lot of our um, our sort of other empires or if we're playing a multiplayer game better than our our friends that we're playing around with um, so now looking at the map maps huge right it's, our people are, are having to deal with other any AI empires and the thing is just like every paradox game that has to do with countries communities and the geopoliticalness, uh, it's about borders. And it's about the extra additional resources you can get. So, we're going to talk about the construction ship. Now, the construction ship is a really great ship. It's one of our civilian ships here, which is on the right. Again, you can look over them. And we have a lot of interesting uh, sort of mechanics that come with the construction ship. Anything that you want to build in space, it's the construction ship that will be the one that helps you out. Um, so first things first, let's understand one thing in our home system right now, we have these sort of, uh, resource numbers that are po pointing down underneath our, our sort of system. Same thing we can see over here. Uh, the, we have six energy credits that can be mined from the system. And then we also have the eight mineral credits that can be mined from here. Um, and obviously when we are starting off, this is very valuable. Um, because we have only one planet. We can't really produce as much as we expect we can, right? Again, based on the size of our, of our system, etc. Um, so thinking of those kind of things is what's really going to make us understand what's going on. Um, so first things first, we got to first take a look at the science ships. Now, we don't need a leader that needs to be in our science ship, thank God. Um, but there's some very interesting things that we can see that we have these little buttons here. So our first one here is build Starbase. Uh, so this one is a really great one. So for example, we have completely researched the system. Yes. And now that we've completely researched the system, we still can't build in the system based on all these resources we want. In this system, we can build these resources because uh, it's it's ours, right? We claimed it. This is this home system is ours. The circle indicates the border, and we indicate that this is the claim we have laid onto this system. Um, but we haven't done it with this one, so you can't you know you can't lay any claims to the the resources in this region. So again, what do we want to do in order to claim that? We're going to select our research uh, our construction ship. We're going to hover over now. You can click this button. But I would suggest it's better we we right hover over here and we hover over the system. We right click, and now we have the multiple options. Now see we have the build mining stations, but the system is not within our borders, so we can't do that. So what do we have to do? We have to put the system inside our borders. So to do that, we need to select build a starbase, right? So building the starbase, or we also call it our outpost, because uh, starbases are a whole different story, which we will talk about. And in this case, it's going to cost us 90 alloys to make, which again is this one up here. And it's going to cost us 75 influence. 75, this is our influence unit. So influence is what we're going to use to uh, build our starbase. So we click select build our starbase. Now our science ship is going to go. It's going to head its way all the way over. And this it's going to go and uh, select our starbase. All right, it's going to head on over. And uh, yeah, so let's say we want to build an additional uh, construction ship. So you click on your, your shipyard. And again, same place to how you get your science ship. Uh, you just click on the construction ship. It's going to go. It's going to build itself. And uh, yeah, so what happens is we're going to look inside. We're going to see our s construction ship. It goes and see, it's, it's actually developing and building ourselves a little outpost. Quickly goes, quickly goes, and we can look at this wonderful system. And it's going to be completely finished. Complete. Oh, wow, we've already made... Okay, that's fine. Uh, so, now you see how it automatically, once we've built that additional 
uh, outpost, it's extended our borders. So we've claimed, laid, laid claim to that. Now that we've done that, we can go on to our next one. So our next one is our mining station. Mining station, very straightforward. We hover over, we click right, and we can build a mining station. It's much easier to do it from here on the main map than it is to click on this, then click on the section you want, blah, blah, blah. When you click this, it will automatically build everything in the station. So it clearly means it costs 100 minerals for one station, which means in this case, it's we're going to build four stations, and that means this entire system's resources will belong to us. Again, we'll do the same thing when it comes to the science. Our next one, our science stations. We're going to right-click over this. Research station. It's going to build one research station. It's going to go into our system, and it's going to build those research stations for us. Our next thing is our observation posts. Now, observation posts, we can only use them on complete. the... Um, the there's these okay so observation posts can be used on these certain planets that we can find in the galaxy that we consider aren't uh aren't fully developed now what do i mean by that fully developed in the terms that they have not become a spacefaring species like us or other members of this galaxy we're going to meet so an observation post can be built on top of this planet to look at uh the different planets in the time that they're in and uh, we can use that to boost our science technology or we can use that in another way, which we'll talk in a different video uh, about those kind of things. Um, next, stance evasive. And then our next one is our mega structures. Now, mega structures are only possible, I'm correct, if I'm correct, uh, for the Utopia DLC. So if you have the Utopia DLC, you'll be having access to the mega structures and the mega structures can be used. Uh, we can build these various mega structures. We'll talk in a different video when it comes to mega structures. Um, and yeah. So again, letting the game go, building our our construction ships, going around. Research complete. looking all these things system survey. keep on constantly moving up doing our research continuing now again we finished construction going around adding up increasing our star bases and uh constantly building around and grabbing the system in space uh one word of advice you'd always want to grab choke nodes and choke nodes for example would be like this system here uh, it's a system where if you get here first, no other enemy AI empire can come through and, you know, take up your area, right? It's a strategic interest which you can use in the mil for, your, for your fleets. Again, this is a good choke node because it protects you from this area. This is also a good choke node because you get these access and you protect it from three different ways. So again, looking at this in the strategic interest of your system, building out and selecting those systems. Uh, same idea, you cannot colonize a system without uh, without having it within your borders. Um, so thinking of that, and again, right now that we've built those stations, again, we can look at our energy credits and we're, we're, uh, we're getting a monthly production of 120 and we're, we're consuming 67 of it, but we can see we're getting 19.5 energy credits just from the stations alone. So again, right, look at how big that is. It's such a large section of uh of our income so that's basically the understandings of the construction ship it is probably one of the most powerful tools uh that uh is in this game that can be a large benefit to you and a large benefit to your uh your gameplay uh, so hopefully you've understood this uh if you have any questions please do let me know and i'm always happy to help out but other than that, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.